shooting it straight once again. I'm Rudy, and of course, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you someone who I took under my wing many, many years ago, someone who I truly believe in when it comes to the art of professional wrestling, someone who was once uh, considered a misfit in wrestling. Uh, he is um, someone who I love dearly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, someone who spearheads my company as our world's champion. Of course, I'm talking about uh, Kadeem Zaire Mohammed. How you doing today, son? Assalamu alaikum. You good? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm enjoying my time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like you said, um, I, I was the misfit. I, I was like, I, I like to call myself like the prodigal son. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, 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 I thought that I was too big for my britches. Yeah. You know, um, and in a business where everybody has an ego, you know, there are, it, sometimes it takes some of the higher ups to set you in your, your place, you yeah. know, and, and, and when that happens, you become humble. Yeah. You yeah. know? So, how many years have you been wrestling? You know, <laughs> 20 years. 20 years. 20 in, 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 years. Who trained you? Um, I was trained by Bobo Brown up in um, Midland, Michigan. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, I worked at GLAPW, Great Lakes All Pro Wrestling. Mm -hmm. So um, from there, you know, like I was, like I said, I was a nobody. No, you know, I was like, I was, I was, I was green. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I was, I was a jobber. I've, I worked um, many Battle Royals, you know, I would, I lost all my matches. Yeah. I never won anything, you know. Um, and then I took a couple years off, you know, to uh, find myself. And it was about that time that uh, I had found, I have, we're shooting it straight, yeah. um, Eddie Farhat. Yeah. Uh, you know, and... Um, well, I mean, for, you know, he had a two o'clock spot, you know, in Jackson, Michigan, and uh, I was on that. You know, I got noticed from that, and then from there, that's when we ran into each other, uh, uh, each other, you know. Um, I think it was Los Barisas, if I'm not mistaken. He used to do the outside shows. Yes. And um, I walked up to you, and I was, I was cocky. I, re I don't know if you remember, but uh, the first thing I said was, uh, you know, what, what, what my name was then, and I said, but I'm going to be your world champion one day. You know, and I, I was just talking, you know, out the side of my neck. Mm -hmm. I, I really was. I, I just knew that I had potential, but I just didn't know what it was. Well, I remember um, clearly uh, promoters and other workers and everyone saying, stay away from that cat, man. He's, that kid's trouble he's he's uh he thinks he's god's gift to wrestling he thinks he's better than blah 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 and and that right there was for me hey man I, okay i like that this is what i like about <laughs> this kid and what i liked about uh when we first met was when and even to this day when i ask you to do something it, it's it's not a why or it's how? How do you want me to do it? Mm -hmm. And uh, you've done a lot of different characters in wrestling. Yes. yes. And um, but now the nation, Kadeem Zaire Mohammed. How true to life is this to you? It's it's as real as I mean, breathing. let's let's talk. Yeah, about I, mean, it. I mean, seriously, it's as real as breathing. Like, I mean, I, I want you to know, like, I know there's a lot of people that think, like, this is a whole gimmick and everything, but no, I'm, let me, I mean, seriously, like, I'm, I'm just gonna be serious. I'm gonna shoot straight. This is me, you know? I, I am a Muslim man, you know what I'm saying? And I, I am a black man that I want to be respected. You know, I was that person that I sold out you know, I'm, 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 not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat anything. I sold out to my own people and that's a shameful thing to do. You know, I, like I, I, I would, I did everything to, un, you know, not be associated with the word black, you know, not be ghetto, not, you know, I had to be heard. I, I wanted to pronounce my words correctly, you know, but at some point in time, things were introduced to me 
And it, uh, it, 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 you know, the, the teachings of the nation, honestly, is a better way of living for me. Mm-hmm. You know, because I see things in a new light. You know, I, I'm able to recognize when there's certain things that I shouldn't do. And there's, you know, how to approach, you know, how to approach certain situations with finesse. Uh, let, let me ask you this. When, when, when you were asked to be the face of international big time wrestling, what, what, what went through your mind? I, I, I'm dying to know. All right. To answer that, I'm, have, I'm, a, I'm going to get real deep right now. Um, I waited my whole life. My whole life for somebody to put their faith in me. And I, if we're going to shoot it straight, um, you were talking about a, a four-year-old boy growing up in foster care in Detroit, Michigan. And he turns on professional wrestling, and that's what he knew he wanted to do in his life. And um, when that happened, you know, it, it was it changed me. It changed me from within. It showed me that I am the person that you you know you have faith in, that you can have faith in. I am a good person. And it's just, it, it feels so good. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm no, no, no. You're, you're it feels not. so good to um, have somebody put faith in you because when your mom and your dad are both passed away and you don't have that love there, you, you know, you took me under your wing. And I'm going to be real. I did. And... That means the world to me because there were times that I was thinking about just ending it all. Let me just be honest. And a lot of fellas in the locker room, you know, they might not admit that out loud, but I will. I'm real. Professional wrestling, you, you saved my life. And I am forever in your debt for that. I forever thank you. Well, I, I, I recognize talent and I recognize someone would drive and, and, and even to this day, people are like, wow, you, you, you turned Harlem around. You made him an honorable man in this business. And, and I didn't do that, I just paved the way. You did it as a man, but um, believing in yourself. And, and we went through struggles. Yes, yes. Where you would up. I had, oh, um, I was fired. I was fired a couple you've of times. You've been fired, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, and I've had you. And it was my fault. I'm not. Hey, hey it was nothing. The, I, 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 I would. I would never steer you wrong. Exactly. But I also knew that if we didn't do it the right way, the stern way, that it would never get done right, right. and correctly. Right. And um, I got to tell you, Kadeem, it, it's it warms my heart when I see the boys now all talk about you in a good light. When they used to talk crap about you and they talk about, wow, man, here's a guy who can, we can work. They didn't give you a chance back then, but see, I already, I already foreseen the future. I already spoke it into existence of what was gonna happen. And um, I gotta know, like, uh, what are your goals now in wrestling? What do you want to do with it? What do you want to do with where we're at, with all the excitement of international big time Take wrestling? Out my, look, my goal right now, I'm telling you right now, um, for real, I'm going to be a very prominent figure in taking IBW to the top. That's what I want to do. Yeah. That's what I do. I got, I, you know, IBW is my blood. You know what I'm saying? That's my family, and I'm right here. I'm right here every time, every week on time. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to put in work. I'm ready to prove myself. Just because I have this belt, that doesn't mean that that's the end. You know, the the work just began. Yeah. It has just begun. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm focused. What do you feel about teaming with Congo Kong? And, oh man. And uh, I've known him for for a long time, and that. 
blood don't make us no thicker. Yeah. Yeah. You like, you know, and he, there are, there aren't a lot of people that are, you know, reach the top that have your best interests. I've sure. learned this. But those that do, you, you make sure you, you listen. Yeah. Because you're, there's always something to learn. If, if there's something that all the vets have taught me is you learn something new every time you step into that ring, every time you step into that locker room. You know, like you, it, one of the things that you tell us in the locker room is you pick the brains of, of those vets because they've been to the top. They've been there, you know what I'm saying? And this is, this is our platform now, you know? For us guys that, you know, had been 10 years ago, 10, you know, back when I, when I first showed up, when I was, a, I, let's just say a nobody. Mm. You know, I had to build myself up. Sure. You know, and, and this, this is that platform. IBW is that platform. And I'm telling you right now, I will bleed. I will die making sure that IBW is at the top. And that's all I got to say about that. Well, now we're at the, uh, the point in the interview um, where I pick your brain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a word association okay. with a name association. All right. I'm going to throw five names at you. I want to know in one word what comes to mind immediately. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Chuck Wagon. My first, first real tag team partner. I was a part of the wagons. You know, I remember, uh, uh, <laughs> that's a brother. Brother, I get, there it is, brother. Because we won the tag team titles here at IBW. Yeah. That is a memory for, my, for me. Mysterious Movado. <sighs> Mentor. Every now and then I find myself drawn to him and I, I want to pick his brain, you know, and there was, there was something that happened, you know what I'm saying? There was, there was something that happened, we had a disagreement, and he was right, and I picked myself back up, and I learned from him, and I respect him 100%. Okay. Uh, insane Clown Posse. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've performed at the gathering, I, I think, a count, three times. Yeah. Three times. And, um, man, I mean, it, I, I thank you for the opportunity, JCW. You know what I'm saying? That is, that is in the memory. Um, Madman Pondo. Man, another mentor in the business. You know, like, seriously, like, what can I say bad about that man? He's like... He's giving me nothing but good advice, you know? He's hardcore. <laughs> Rudy Hill. That's my dad, man. <laughs> that's, my, that's, that's, that's the only person in my whole entire life that I can actually say has actually treated me like a son. Right. Well, check it out. We've been shooting it straight with the world's champion. That's right. The international big time wrestling world's champion, Kadeem Zaire Mohammed. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you stay tuned to Rocks TV for all of your favorite entertainment. We'll catch you next time. Love you. Man. I love you. Attention, all small businesses and entrepreneurs. Are you ready to take your company to the next level? Here is your chance to advertise your business or products under the lights of international big time wrestling seen worldwide. For more information, call 313-675-3367. Let's take your company big time. Tune in next week for more international big time wrestling on The Fix. If you've enjoyed this video from RocksTV.com, make sure you follow Rocks TV on Facebook and YouTube. If it's underground, we're there.